there's another one. Instead of wake up situation, it's guard recovery option. So what does this mean? This means off of a block. So you're going to see Ken go, block stun. And then he recovers. So just like wake up, except now I'm doing... Whoops. Okay, I mistimed that. So let's start recording that. Reversal super I just did, right? So I just did reversal super. So now what I'm going to do is set guard recovery actions to on. One. Oh, there we go. Reversal super. There you go. So now... Oh, that was oh, because he didn't have the meter. He didn't have the meter. There you go. So now he's programmed to do a reversal super after I block. After he blocks. And you can see, now I can test to see what's punishable. I don't even have to test it. Remember how I said you want a mirror match? You don't even have to do that necessarily. So now when I did this sequence here, I can see that I can be punished by the target combo. That's not good. I can be punished by the super when I do the target combo. Remember when we talked about that true block string and not true block string? This is another way to test it. Remember when I said low forward fireball is not a true block string, even at point blank range? There you go. Now I can test to see where I have holes in my offense, where someone can actually beat me up. And see in that situation right there, I didn't make my jump into ground combos tight enough. So you can find out a lot of information here this way. So again, let's 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 record some let's record some more actions. Let's do backdash. So I got it on reversal, right? Let's also do on block. Let's do throw. Okay, so I got throw. So now what I want to do is test my frame traps here, so I can go like. Okay, uh, okay, I didn't throw too fast. Oh, I have to turn them on, I have to turn them on. Oops. But see, the cool thing about this now is I can trigger him into doing things. And see, he backdashed away from me. You know, I'm timing that slow enough so that on reversal I'm not getting hit. the backdash avoided it. See? I timed my, I'm learning to time my throw that if he does reversal super, I will block in time. Let's also do, let's record one more. Now, one of the things that I do want to mention is that um, guard slowdown. This works on wake up as well, We're recording on wake up slowdown. You can actually turn these on so that when I actually record this, you'll notice that what happens is that the game will slow down for you. You can see it better on wake up. Let me do it on the wake up options. You can see it better over there. So normally if I have wake up slow down off, the computer's gonna do this for you. Whee! And you have to do a normal reversal timing. If I turn wake up slow down to on and then I do recording, when it gets to there, it'll actually slow down the wake up so I can time the reversal better. So that's actually a good way to help test things as well. So you can do that on the guard one as well. So guard, I'll turn guard slow down on. Start recording slot three. There you go. So now I have this huge window to be able to get that out there. And so now I have all this stuff here. <laughs> Back dash. Wow. Oh, I have to turn it on. That's right. So I'm going to turn that on. There you go. Whoops. He still has the wake up option set on. Okay. See, what I'm doing right now is I'm actually low jabbing, blocking for half a second. I'm going to turn off all these wake up actions because he's beating me up here. Um, what I'm doing is I'm low jamming, waiting for half a second, then walking up and throwing. Like that. The reason why I'm doing that is that if he does EX uppercut, I should be able to block it. But see, I walked forward too fast. I walked too forward too fast again. 
See, there we go. Now I get the punish. All right? So here we go again. Ooh, I walked forward too fast. But etc. etc. You can actually test all these kind of things now. See, it's so you get a lot of really good options in there. And it's really, really cool. You can test a lot of things this way. You can test whether, and again, a lot of this really is that, you know, these options weren't necessarily designed for these things, but the more creative you get, the more you can come up with really, really cool things that will honestly help you in your training mode uh, and help you figure things out. I really highly recommend that if you go online and you play against someone, like for example, let me switch characters here. I'm sure we're all sick of seeing Ken by now. Um, you can re v reversal a lot of that. You could re v reversal a lot of that, but you know, not something that you necessarily are testing right now. It's just depending on what you're trying to test. But let's say I'm Karen, okay? I'm gonna be Karen here, and I'm gonna go against Vega. Uh, where is Vega? Dude, I totally can't find Vega. What is my problem right now? Oh, there he is. He doesn't have the mask on. I'm an idiot. Okay, so let's do Vega here. I want to practice punishing Vega's role. Happy birthday, Y2 Keno. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to... Dummy. Go all the way over here, action record setting. I'm gonna do it to, uh, yeah, so let's just do this. Record slot one, whoops. Oh God, I'm an idiot. I'm trying to do him like a charge character. So slot one is gonna be short one. Slot two is gonna be the heavy one. Actually, let me do the short one again and make sure I block afterwards. Let's do the medium one and block afterwards. And let's do the heavy one and block afterwards. And in fact, let's do the EX one and block afterwards. Whoops. There we go. So now I've recorded all these options for Vega. And now I can turn them all on. All right, so the EX1 seems like it's not punishable. Yep, the EX1 is safe. But there you go. Like a lot of people try to punish this too. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna turn off that one because it's safe, so there's really no point to do that. So let's turn off that one. But see, what happens a lot of times is when people block this roll, they try to punish too slow. Like that. But you see that it's 100% punishable with my low forward, right? But a lot of times you just hit the button too late because it looks like the block stun is longer than it is. So you can use this to, 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 to see if you can learn how to punish it properly. And then once you realize what the timing to punish it properly is, you can start going into trying to do other things. Oh, I did that the wrong way. Can stand strong punish. Yes, it can. So now I know I can do. Whoops. Yep, see, exactly. So now I can learn the timing to punish with strong. Okay, too late. Okay, in time. Too late. Maybe I can't punish the light one. Now let me let me try just punishing the light one really quick. Oh, I can punish it. I totally can punish it. Okay, so I'm gonna turn these on, and so yeah, so there you go. I I, I need to learn these things, right? So okay, too late. Okay, on time. Okay, on time. Too late. On time. So now that I've learned how to time this a little bit better. Now I want to see if I can make sure I can combo off of it. Nope. See, now I'm thinking about canceling the stand strong into a move. Now all of a sudden, I can't time that other part right. But there you go. So now the more I practice this, 
then I'm just gonna keep getting better at this as it keeps going. I haven't played a lot of Karen before, so there's a lot of things about her that I don't know. But if I wanted to learn it, this is how I would do it. You know, just all these different situations. Really, honestly, the training mode at this point in time with all these different options, it's really limited to your own creativity, what you can come up with and what you can do with all these sorts of things. Like I said, I really do recommend always, you know, trying to use um, mirror matches here so you can test things back and forth because with the option of being able to record the computer, get them to do these reactions on stuff, you can find out which of your own things are safe, which, you know, all these things are punishable. But you just have so many options here based on all these different things that you have here. So um, that those are some of the really intermediate to advanced things that you want to do with the training mode.